This is the story of my family. We look perfect, but we are the worst I've ever seen. We're good at observing money devotion. We are good at going to church. We are good at keeping bright smiles for our family picture. But something is lacking. There's a lot to write, but I can't because in five seconds, my alarm will ring with the song, Good Morning Jesus. Lord Jesus, we pray that you flog out the spirit of buying and selling from our lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, have mercy on us, so we need your mercy. Ah! How can someone be so lost in sin and immorality? They will wake up in the morning thinking they are something, when in actual fact, they are nothing. Ha. Father, they have killed the voice of the Holy Spirit. That is why they will leave their family members and go clubbing with small, small boys. Yet they go to church. They are even church workers. Can you believe that, Lord? Can you even imagine? I know you, you can't even imagine it. You can't. Father, in short, let your message just speak for them. Let your message speak for them. Bless us and bless this family. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Yeah. Amen. Children, let's go to school. Our God and our Father. We thank you for today. Because today is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. That is why we cannot complain like the heathen who do not know God. We cannot grumble and speak evil of others like the ungodly who boast in their own power and their strength. Lord, remember to have mercy on those that are confused psychologically, physically, and even emotionally. We pray that, Lord, you give them peace and rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My Lord and my God, I also commit into your hands hmm, all bands that have dishonored their homes, especially fathers, that have sacrificed their dignity on the laps of strange women. Lord, have mercy on them. In Jesus' oh, name. Oh Lord, my God, Jehovah. Lord, remember to show mercy on wives who delight in listening to suggestions and advice of evil friends. Save them from friends 
who are bent on destroying other people's homes by saying evil things against their husbands. Light shines and darkness could not understand it. My lord. Strip them naked. Let confusion embrace them. And let shame go to them up. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have prayed. You are not saying amen. <laughs> Louder. Amen. This is how we say good morning to Jesus. Are you done making a fool of yourself? And are you done making a fool out of me? Falake, why are you doing this? Who is Cecilia? Your friends are feeding you with lies. Mm. And it's affecting your reasoning. You are the one feeding me with lies. And I am fed up. I can swear to you that I don't know of such name Cecilia. Has it occurred to you that most of these friends you are listening to are divorcees? And they want you to join their club. Look, stop listening to them. I will stop listening to them when you start telling me the truth. I tell you the truth all the time, but you choose to ignore them. Shagun, you need to be patient with me. See, I have a lot of bills to pay right now, tons of them. And I'll, I'll sort your money as soon as I get all these debts paid. Oh, really? You want to involve the police? You're so unbelievable. You really must be out of your mind. Hello, Cecilia. Hey, dear. Hi. Why have you been ignoring my chats and WhatsApp? Look, I've just been busy lately, really. I've been really busy lately. So busy that you could not even comment on my status? Your status? My WhatsApp status. I did not see your comment. I posted those pictures because of you. Okay. Who's Who picture help now? Eh? Look, Cecilia, when am I seeing you for real now? I thought I explained to you that I'm still in Oshobo with my parents. So why aren't you in school? You don't want to know, dear. I do want to know. School fees, voila. Wow. I've paid off and I need to balance up. So how much are we talking about? Just 50,000 Naira. Wow. When I get the money, I'll return to Lagos and then you can come visit me. Or do you want me to come over? Uh, no, 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 no. Just send your account number. Baby, do you know I love you? You understand my love language. You're such an angel. I don't know what I'll do without you. Okay, let me send it right away. It's okay. No problem. Alright, later then.
Hello, Pastor. How are you and the family? We are doing great, sir. Oh, that's nice. Now, so, how is the preparation for the convention? It's going on fine. Um, it's just that we are yet to book the accommodation for the guest minister. You know, the guest minister is my spiritual father. Okay, so, and I want the best for him. I want you to get him the best hotel in town for his accommodation. That should not be a problem. Once we get the funds, we can easily book the best and accommodative hotel. Oh, money is not the problem. Um, I will send you 200,000 Naira so that you can get him a very good place. I hope that will be enough. Hello? Hello? Uh, how much did you call? How much did you call it again, sir? I said 200,000 Naira. Would that be okay? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I wish I could be in the country for the convention, really, because I'm sure I'm going to miss a lot. I'm here on another assignment, and I must deliver. I trust God in you that you are going to make things right. Uh, no problem, sir. No, uh, no problem at all. Good. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye, sir. Get an alert very soon. Oh, oh my god, you're such a darling. You can say that again. I love you, big daddy. You can say that again. I love you, big daddy. You can say that again. <laughs> My beautiful daughter, how was school today? School's fine. Oh, my beautiful princess. Come and give daddy a hug. <laughs> oh, that's my baby. Sit up, sit up, sit up. Oh, my Won't you give your daddy a hug? I want to use the toilet. Come, come back here, my friend. Come give your daddy a hug, my friend. Toilet, come. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Guys, we are going to sing a worship song. <laughs> the more we are together, together, together. The more we are together, the happier we shall be. Apologize! Oh, you are not singing. What, what is your problem? Now, let's sing properly. Hmm? 
the more we are together, together, together. The more we are together, the happier we shall be. What is happening here? It's 10 30 pm. PM. It is official. My father needs prayers. When he is drunk, he can greet Jesus good morning at 8 pm in the evening. Hello, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Everything is under control. Oh, thank God. That's wonderful. I, I hope the money is enough for the welfare and accommodation. Because <laughs> this man of God is a great man. A well-respected man. And so I want him in the very best. I mean, the best hotel in town. Oh, you emphasized that already. In fact, my team and I are working endlessly to make sure that that is in place. I have personally visited the hotel. It is one of the best in town, sir. <laughs> but um, my only fear is um, the cost, you know, considering the standards and all that. Oh. So, uh, how much are we talking about here? Um, I think a 200,000 should do. What? 200,000? Uh, actually, I have decided to drop a hundred thousand to as my own seat for the convention. God bless you, Brother Lakule. Amen, sir. Yeah. Um, I will send the balance to you, okay? Um, I really wish I'm in town to oversee the preparation for the convention. But I believe you and the rest of the community that you will do an amazing job. Um, actually, I was actually on my way to um, the, the hotel. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll call you back. I'll get back to you, sir. Bye. Alright, sir. Bye, sir. <sighs> <laughs> Yes, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Well done, guys. Look, I want this place speak and span. Clean as our hotel room, okay? Daddy, please, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Please, why are we cleaning this room? Don't worry, I will tell you. <laughs> I will tell you. Come, 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 come. Yes. Now. Come close. Come. I need both of you to be at your best behavior this week. Hmm? I don't want any form of fighting throughout this week in this house. That is because we are hosting a man of God. You see, the Bible says that we should live at peace with all men. And this is a commandment. 
and an instruction that we all must follow. If your brother slaps you on the right cheek, you turn the left. Huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Okoloise. Let discernment and common sense guide you. Do you understand? Now, if both of you are good throughout this week, me and mommy will take you out. That is mom and I. Uh -huh. <coughs> <coughs> Baby. <laughs> when did that one start? If I don't call you, baby, who else would I call, baby? Give that title to Cecilia. There is no one by the name Cecilia. I need you to trust me. Look me in the eye and tell me that there's no one by the name Cecilia. I mean, really look me in the eye and tell me I am wrong. You are wrong. Good. Good. Um, we have a special guest coming in tomorrow. Good. He's the guest minister at the convention. Good. And our family has been appointed to host him. Good. This is bad. Very bad. To search your hearts. We cannot be cheating, fighting, and stealing and expect to go with God. You cannot keep malice with your husband and expect to obtain favor from God. The Bible categorically states that fornicators, liars, and drinkers would not see the kingdom of God. This is the time for your salvation. If you want this salvation, come out now and I will pray with you. Come to Jesus. If you cheat in your exams, this Jesus. is the hour of your salvation. Come, come out now Jesus and I will pray now. with you. Hmm. It is better you come out now before it is too late. There are still some people here. Who needs to come out now before it is too late? Tomorrow might be too late, you know. Okay? If you have resentment in your heart and hatred for your husband, this is your time for salvation. Come out now so that I can pray for you. Hey, 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 quiet mistress. Oh yeah, come out for salvation. Come out now and kneel down. Kneel. Kneel properly. Now say this after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept you into my life. Thank you. 
Is is this your son? <coughs> Brother Lakule. Brother Lakule. Sa 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 sa. Is that your son? No. Uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, this is the servant of God we have been expecting. I love you, Pastor. Oh, I love you too, son. You have a very sweet son here. <laughs> and <he>, yes. <laughs> yes. I love you so much, Pastor. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, it would be good to love with wisdom. Eh? That is our special guest you are hugging, you know. I know that. Then stop. Shh. Come. Come and join us. Don't be shy. Brethren, let us take this worship song. The more we are together. Daddy, you are not singing. The more we are together, together, together. The more we are together, the happier we shall be. The more we are together, together, together. The more we are together, the happier we shall be. You're welcome to our home, sir. <laughs> You're most welcome, sir. Uh, and, sir, I am very sorry for the embarrassment caused earlier. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. I have not seen your wife since I came. Oh, <laughs> she's very much around. Uh, in fact, she's in the kitchen. <laughs> she's in the kitchen. Maybe I should just go get her right away. Oh, please don't uh, bother her if she's busy. Ah, not at all. <laughs> not at all, sir. I'll be right back. <laughs> The Reverend is here. So? No, so I should leave what I'm doing here to come and greet your Reverend. But we're supposed to welcome him together. Hmm. Well, in case you're looking for a partner, why don't you go call Cecilia? For like Why are you trying to run me crazy here? Huh? Look, I try hard to pull this family together and all you do is try to fall it apart. Your drunken son made a big fool out of himself the other time. And here you are, trying to make a bigger fool by talking about a lady that does not even exist. What can be worse than this? The Reverend is here. Exactly! The Reverend is here, caught right in the middle of all this mess. Right behind you. My reverend, <laughs> you are right behind me. Please, uh, good evening, sir. Ah, my dear sister, how are you? Fine, very fine, sir. I asked after you from your husband. Yes, I was busy cooking. Yes, sir. Please, can I get a glass of water? Oh, water? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can get as much glass of water that you, as you want in this house. Look, this is your home. Feel very comfortable, sir. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, thank you, my sister. Yes, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, sir. Will there be any other things, sir? No, th thank you. I I'm okay. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
This will be your room, sir. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, thank sir. Thank you. Please, um, if you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. <laughs> All right, I'll be leaving now. Keep a ball. Daddy. Daddy. Oh, no. <laughs> you have finished. Ah. You drank the forbidden drink? Daddy. And you started behaving the forbidden way? Ah, oh, Daddy. Now. Daddy. You have finished. Yeah, Daddy. Daddy, please. Yeah. This is my first time. And it's going to be your very last. Oh, no. Look, the reverend is in the next room. And if he hears your voice, you are dead. I will kill you and I will call him to pray for you. After you resurrect, I will kill you again and call him to pray for you again. Hello, baby. Run along, Lee. Sir, who is your baby? Uh, it's it's my daughter. It's my daughter. <laughs> One minute. Hey, baby. Uh, please help me get um, a cup of water. <laughs> uh, thanks, baby. That's my darling. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Um, how is the Reverend? Has he settled in? Oh, yes, 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 yes. He's fully settled in his hotel room, sir. Oh, great. I just called to check on him. Don't bother checking at all, sir. And why not? Because you have nothing to worry about, sir. <laughs> but I still need to call from time to time, okay? No problem, sir. All right. Bye. All right, so bye. <sighs> Hello, Pastor. A luckily? How far? Boy, it's your pastor. Look, it's a long story. You won't understand. Mm, I need a little favor from you. How much is it? Who told you it's about money? <laughs> Look, for the past two weeks that I have known you, every favor you ask is about money. You're so wrong. I'm not materialistic. I'm not money conscious. But I just need... 30,000 naira for my upkeep. Okay, send your account number. Oh, you are darling. <laughs> when are we saying? I'm leaving my parents' house this Sunday. When I get to Lagos, I'll let you know. Okay. But I'm dying to see you, you know. The patient dog eats the fattest bone. Oh. So, you are now calling me... A patient dog. <laughs> you are just as naughty as my wife. Please, don't compare me to that woman. Anyways, I'll be expecting the money. On one condition. What condition again? You will send me your pictures. Consider it done. Alright then. Bye.
dead diary. I say this from my heart. I hate my father. I hate my mother. I hate this home. Hello, man of God. <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious. So, when did you arrive? I arrived th this evening. Oh, so how was the trip? It was fine, thank God. It's fine. They are hosting me in one of their Dickens' house. Wow. So how are they treating you? Well, they are trying their best. And how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Alright. Where's Junior? Junior, your daddy wants to speak with you. Daddy, daddy, daddy! Mmm, <laughs> my boy! Daddy, I miss you. When are you coming back? Mmm, I missed you too. I'll be coming on when my assignment here is finished. How was the exam today? It was fine. Some people cheated in the exam, but I did not cheat. That's good of you, Junior. I am very proud of you. You are a child of destiny. A child of destiny does not cheat in the exams, okay? Alright, I want you to do me a favor, Junior. And I'll give me a smile. Come on, your daddy a smile. Come on, Junior. Alright, show me your teeth. <laughs> Junior, a rat has got to your teeth. <laughs> Alright, my boy. Daddy loves you. Bye. Our king's not feeling too well. He's been coughing for some days. We need to get him some medications. So how much are we talking about? Just 5,000 now. It is well. It is not well. The children's school fees is overdue. Very soon they will stop them from coming to school. Falake, we are swimming in debt, you know. So, Olakumi, what are you trying to say? I'm broke. I don't have money. Then you better do something about it. Um, maybe you should just give me a gun and let me rob a bank. Listen, Olakunle, I'll get the money by myself without your help. But know this, you just messed with the wrong woman. me when I'm talking to you. Your mom told me you might be locked out of school because of school fees. Take this for your lunch. Nah, don't worry. Keep it for the school fees. I'll be fine. Ah, 
Pastor. Hello, Pastor. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, Sister Flake. Good afternoon. How is your husband? He's doing well. Where is he? I've been trying his line. He's not connecting. Um, actually, he's inside. Maybe I should hand over my to him so you can speak to him. Okay, that would be good. Thank you. Yeah, and sir, I also want to thank you too. I want to appreciate you for the privilege of having us host the pastor in our house. Sorry, I didn't get that. I mean, <laughs> we have a lot of families in the church that you could have um, asked to host the pastor in their house. But uh, you didn't it fit for us to host him. It's a great honor. Thank you, sir. Wait, wait. Something is wrong somewhere. Like what, sir? You mean Reverend slept in your house? Yes, sir. Oh my God. What is the problem, sir? I deposited money into your husband's account for Reverend Emmanuel's welfare and accommodation. It's supposed to be in an hotel. Three hundred thousand naira. Hello, Pastor. Brother Lockley, what have you done? What do you mean, sir? What is Reverend doing in your house? What happened to the money I sent to you for his accommodation? Uh, I can explain, sir. I'm not ready to listen to anything. I want Reverend out of your house right now. Sir, you need to understand me. I'm not ready to understand anything. Get Reverend out of your house! Hello? Hello? Hello, sir? Hello, Pastor. My Reverend, I am so sorry. What's the problem? You are meant to be in an hotel right now. I personally deposited some money into Brother Alakule's account. The man kept the money in his account and left it in his house. Can you imagine? It's okay. It's not okay, sir. Sir, it's not okay. I am sending some people there right now to pick you up and take you away from that place. Don't bother. Let me bother, sir. Uh, uh, why? Why should I not bother, sir? Because you didn't send me here, Pastor. The Lord Jesus Christ sent me to this home. Hello, Pastor. Baby, it's me. Why do you keep calling me Pastor? Because I saved your name as Pastor. Why? My wife is all over me. And somehow she found out about you. So the best thing I could do was to change your ID to Pastor, just to get her off my back. Anyways, good news. <laughs> Tell me about it. I am not in Lagos. So we can see now, right? Oh, sure. Okay, so when can I come and see you? Never mind. I'm already coming over. What do you mean? I'm coming over to your house. No, 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 no. You can't come over to my house. Why? My wife must not see you. I don't care if she sees me or not. Oh. I love you. you. You cannot come over to my house. This is not what we planned. Alakule, I am tired of being your side chick. What on earth do you want? I want all of you. Look, manage the half that you have of me already. Why? I have a home. You can't break it. Come and open the gate. Wait, what do you mean? I'm right outside your house. Outside my house? No, you can't be here. Oh, I can? No, 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 no. What has gotten into you? You've entered into me and taken a hold on me. I want no one else but you. You are losing your mind. I don't want to have anything to do with you again. It's too late. Look, I have a wife and kids. I have a father and I have a mother. It doesn't spoil anything. I love you. 
the love story between you and I is over. No, baby. It just started. Do you know why? Why? Because I am right in front of your room. No. No, 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 no. 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 No, 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 no. No, no. Cecilia. No. The final year student you're so desperate to meet. Stop. The one you've been chatting with online. Folake, what kind of demon are you? The kind that you created. Your voice. The voice. That's the easy part. I perfectly changed my voice. And thanks to the internet. I downloaded the pictures of a very beautiful lady and sent them to you. And you fell for it because you are the biggest fool I've ever seen in my life. All this because you wanted to make a fool out of me? All this because you took me for a fool. Where's my money? <laughs> Where is my money? Ask Cecilia. Where is my damn money? Luckily, you're the most stupid man I have ever met in my life. You were entrusted with God's money and you spent it on a strange woman, a woman that you've never seen in your life. Who does that? So okay. You are such a strange woman. I am your reality. Your children are your reality. But you abandoned us for your fantasy. Okay. Where is my money? Over my dead body. Where is my money? Now, uh -uh. no, don't do this. Hey, please, please, please. It is well in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. Jesus. 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 <laughs> That woman is evil. No, you've gotten it all wrong. You're fighting the wrong battle. Your wife is not your adversary. Your adversary is the devil. The enemy of your soul. Let me tell you a story. There was once a man who had a very lovely family. He had his wife and three kids. But one day, fire engulfed his entire house. And as the fire was raging, he went into the fire and struggled and brought out his wife and two of the kids. And just as the fire consumed the roof and the roof caved in, 
He dove into the fire to save the last kid. And he did. But he died in the process. But that little kid still lives till today. Going around. Telling everyone the story of the father who died to save him. Olakule, can you beat your chest? and confidently tell the world like my father did before he died that you saved your family from the fire can you i have failed i don't even know where to start from then let us start from the basics a life without christ is full of crisis the other day you were embarrassed because your little boy was drunk. But do you know that on a daily basis you embarrass your father in heaven because you are drunken in sin and iniquity and immoralities. You are the head of this home. But if the head is not correct, how can the entire body function well? You claim Jesus as your God. But have you made him your Lord and your Savior? Have you totally surrendered all your life to him? I'm a fervent churchgoer. I even carry the title of a deacon. But I do not carry Jesus. I want to change. Please help me. Let me pray with you. Now say after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I acknowledge myself as a sinner. I acknowledge myself as a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me all my sins. Write my name. In the book of life. Fill my heart with your spirit. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. <laughs> Let me become one of your children. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now let me pray for you. Father, I want to thank you for the life of this your son. How are you feeling now? Talk to me now. Dad, where have you been? I've been lost in the world of sin. But I have changed now. And things will not be the same as it used to be. Don't 
together, together, together. Nama we are together. Da. <laughs> I want you to be strong, okay? It is well. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, where's the young man? Oh, my boy. I love you. I love you too, sir. <laughs> now you know what you're going to do for me? I want you to take your medication, okay? Yes, you will. And I want you to eat very well. Can you do that? Yes, sir. All right. And then I want you to take care of your parents for me. You will take care of me, sir? <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. You're right. Ah, oh, Reverend, God has really, really used you for my family. If not for your intercession and prayers, we probably would have lost our son to the devil. Mm -hmm. And, um, sir, I have um, also refunded the 300,000 to the pastor. About the trick I pulled, that could have ended my life and marriage. I appreciate you, sir. I am so glad to hear that. And I'm glad that you have all made amends. And all your fences are now mended. Come on, give me a hug. There is something new about my family now. Something big, something real, something beautiful. Something about the name of Jesus. It makes the difference. Started winning all my battles Now everyone says I'm appealing Cause you gave my life a new meaning My brand new life is beginning As all of my sins are forgiving This level of love is fulfilling And this is only the beginning Yeah. Thank you Lord for deliverance yeah. Thank you for giving me a second chance You are the reason I'm standing You are the reason I'm standing
look at me I have been saved by the blood of the Lamb No more running and hiding Because under His wings I'm abiding Who I was before is irrelevant I have become the mighty one's descendant Am I speaking to somebody here Who is looking for a way out This gospel of Jesus I'm sharing Is a solution no doubt So give it a chance you will see You will be absolutely free Because of Him you